I'm just trying to decide um, how tall I want my hat and then I add an inch because we will trim it down later I just mark where I want to cut it and I try to cut it out pretty straight <laughs> straight as I can and it you know sometimes it comes out crooked but we're gonna cut it straight up the side after I get this piece cut off that I want and you can make it as tall as you want or as short as you want the finished hat that I make in this video ends up being about three inches tall you'll need a cardboard tube a flat cardboard um, I've got it right here on the paper um, fabric to cover glue I use Fabri-Tac because it's my favorite glue I like it better than hot glue um, needle and thread tape masking tape is perfect um, but you can use scotch tape wrapping to any kind of tape um, and embellishments you can decorate your hat any way you want and the fabric I use is just uh, cotton fabric polka dot cotton fabric now you can leave your hat straight so that the stovepipe sides are straight but I want mine to taper at the bottom toward the bottom so I cut it up the side and I'm going to use some double double sided tape so that I can tighten that stovepipe side up just make it narrower at the bottom than at the top and then I will trim it to um, be uh, flat I guess flat all the way around the bottom and all the way around the top otherwise if you don't trim it it's gonna tilt and that's fine if you want a hat that is you know offset from here you can do anything you want with your hat straighten out that line <clears throat> I've had a sore throat the past couple days and I'm a little late getting this class out but everyone's making their baby fairy right now right <laughs> and the hat's the last thing to make the baby fairy I'm talking about is the exclusive for the patreon group And we make we're making a little fairy baby new year. And here you can um, trim off the extra that you have. Um, remember, I wanted it about two and a half inches, and I cut it actually at three and a half inches. So I trim off a little bit just so it's not so tall which would have been fine for this little this little doll and I'm just testing this the um, evenness by standing it on the table just to see how straight I got it trimmed and then you can do that with the both ends of the stovepipe so now to cut the top, the top of the top hat, you'll just um, 
draw around your the big end of the stove pipe the larger end because you want that to be even and when you cut out the brim you'll want to cut it out bigger than the rest that was looking a little crooked and I just want to make sure I get that circle drawn on the cardboard correctly <laughs> it's kind of hard to hang on to so and that's what that looks like and um to get a perfect circle I used something to trace around and happened to just have that little jar sitting on the table it wasn't quite big enough for the brim so I'm cutting around the brim to make it a little bigger and it turns out pretty good sometimes the project that you just free free fly on <laughs> is the best one and I think it turned out pretty good I really like the little hat just trim up your stove pipe and we're going to put some tape over that raw edge just so I don't have a a crease or a bump in the fabric when we wrap it around it kind of smooths it out and I'm just using some scotch tape there masking tape is always the best but I couldn't find my masking tape <laughs> in my amazing organized studio still have the scotch tape laying around from Christmas wrapping so there you'll just cut your fabric or just have a big chunk of fabric and you put some glue on your stove pipe lay it on the fabric and just roll your fabric around to get the size of uh, fabric that you need and you'll trim it so that it overlaps about at least a quarter of an inch to half an inch and then you'll glue the edges and put them together there see how easy it is so far no patterns no sewing really no sewing but you know me until you get to the trim and all that I like to sew it on I get really blobby with glue I get so messy <laughs> I get pretty messy on this part trim your um, ends about half an inch away from the bottom of the cardboard Just testing that out thinking hey yeah this is gonna work <laughs> and just cut some slits from the end of the fabric to almost to the cardboard you want to leave a little bit don't cut all the way to the cardboard Put some glue on the inside of the cardboard and then you'll just press all those tabs down onto the glue and your stove pipe will be complete. Stove pipe hat.
Let's see, I'm getting glue all over my hands. <laughs> and there's nothing to wipe it on. I usually wipe it on my um, apron. But I'm not wearing my apron today. If you hear snoring in the background, it is my large puppy. He loves sleeping upside down and snoring. It's taken me so long to get to this narration that um, we're not going to redo it. We're just going to let him snore. I'm just going to glue the other end there and fold those tabs in when you get to the crown you'll cut a circle of fabric about half an inch larger than your cardboard and then you'll do the same thing that you did with the the stovepipe um, you'll um, cut some slits around it and put glue on your cardboard and then fold the tabs in into the glue since I have the brown side of the cardboard showing on that part of the hat. I want the brown side of the cardboard to be toward the um, outside of the hat. It's hard to explain. I just hold it on there and cut around it. The edges don't have to be perfect on this. I want to make a bunch of these because it's just so easy. You could use felt, you could put silk on the cardboard, you could use any kind of fabric. And you can make it any size you want, even if you had to make your um, the crown side, the stove pipe, if you had to make that a big tube you could just make a big tube and then go from there make your top crown to fit the tube and your brim to fit so With Fabri-Tac, you don't have to worry about the glue being hot, like hot glue. And I've never had really good luck with hot glue. It always comes off. My pieces fall apart. And you see some of the fabric overlaps onto more fabric, and you'll just want to put glue on those tabs and go ahead and fold those over onto the other fabric. more fabric tabs. <laughs> I happen to get a lot of glue on that cardboard so I'm just using that with my finger and placing on all the tabs. I wasn't real happy with the edges of my crown piece there so you can use trim and I happen to have some lace trim with little puff balls on the edge and I thought that was going to be really cute so I used that. It's like more polka dots on polka dots. You could use um, satin rat tail edging. You could put that on on the little edge of the hat. I would put the cr glue the cr crown onto the stovepipe part and then put the rat tail around the edge 
satin piping, whatever you want to call it. I always called it rat tail, so that works. And it's tiny enough that it would look really, really, really adorable on there. And I just stitched that on because I'm so messy with this glue, I didn't want it to ooze out all over everything. And it only took me a few minutes. I think it turned out really cute. Now this part I will glue on. I'll just put glue on the underside of the lace. I'm wiping the tip of the bottle off. Fabri-Tac has a tendency to just ooze out of the bottle, so even when it's standing upright. I put a little glue on and I'll try another fitting on the top hat side sides. Or the stove pipe. <laughs> It wasn't enough glue. I didn't have it in the right spot, so I'm going to lift that up and put more glue on. Oh my gosh watching the video and narrating, I want to make more of these little hats. Wouldn't it be cute to make the top um, like a little stuffing bubble or what What do you, what you call that? Like a pincushion. Make a little pincushion for the top and have a pincushion hat. What else could you do with it? I just set the little jar on top to hold that down until the glue is set. You could put a book on top or whatever. And if your um, the stove pipe is level, it'll just stand up and hold whatever on top. Now for the brim, I want to make, if you've ever made fabric yo-yos, that's essentially what we're doing right now, except it's got a cardboard center in it. You just gather up the edge. You want the fabric big enough to cover the entire cardboard circle, the brim, the cardboard brim, and the um, ruched fabric um, adds some texture to your little top hat. Oh, and you'll want some narrow ribbon I use one eighth inch ribbon for the hat tie. Stick your cardboard in there and then pull your thread to gather it all up like a big fabric yo yo. You want to um, snug the fabric up and secure the thread so that your brim fabric doesn't come off or come loose. Now you could go ahead and glue this on because you're going to make a hat um, my brain just went blank. You're going to put ribbon and things around there so to embellish your hat so you wouldn't see the glue. But I want to sew mine on because I'm crazy about sewing. I'm crazy about it not falling apart. <laughs> okay, and this is where we're going to put the... Um, the ribbon for the tie on the hat. 
You'll just cut two slits in the center of the brim. All the way through. And then you'll stick your ribbon through there. You can use your hemostats to grab a hold of your ribbon and push it through. Here I'm just using a, a big needle to force it through the slits in the brim. Cut your ribbon long enough to tie under your doll's chin and make a big bow so that you'll need it pretty long. I think I left mine about 12 inches on each side. And then you'll put your top hat top over the center of the brim and either stitch it in place or you can glue it in place. I think stitching it holds it tighter. But that's just me. Be cute to make the top of the top hat open so that you could have little candy boxes. Little top hat candy boxes, those are cute. There's a lot of things you could do with this um, hat technique. could make a little fascinator to wear with a costume for yourself. That'd be cute. Now, the top hat's finished. You can tie it around her, her head. And um, I'm leaving the embellishing up to you. You can um, do your hat band. There's the word, hat band. Um, any way you want it. And for this doll, I use the velvet ribbon and some of the doily lace. Um, I use a little watch that I had in a box. I took the insides of the watch out and just left the glass front and the back that snaps on. I put some beads in there. I dropped in some a couple of metal gears. Um, I just put all kinds of goodies inside the watch and put that on her hat band and it's really cute because this is a baby new year she needed a watch somewhere. And there you go. There's your baby new year. Thank you. Um, Come check out my Patreon if you're not on there yet. And I thank all my patrons who have joined me on this little pattern this month. Um, I love you guys. See you later.